Hi guys, Eric here, I'm back. It has certainly been a while since my last uh, Fusion tutorial, so why not start with something new and uh, let me show you some really nice trick. Uh, very, very simple if you know how it's done. So basically this was triggered by a question on the We Suck Less forum and the question was how to get jaggy edges at the edge of a mask. So easy enough. Let's start fresh with the background here. Give it some color and add a mask. This obviously could be any type of mask, rectangle or polygon, whatever you prefer, even an alpha channel generated from a Kia. Right, so we want to displace the edges and the trick to that is that we just take a fast noise tool, you can view it over here, and add a displace node and pipe the fast noise into the displace. Let's bring the scale of fast noise down a little bit. But however, what's happening here is that the displace by default is just doing a radial displace. This is not what we want. We want to have independent XY displacement. And XY displacement defaults to using the red channel and the green channel. So now in our fast noise, since it's just grayscale, the values for red and green are identical. So if I ramp this up, I get something like this, which sort of works, but you will see that if I ramp up the refraction values, the mask is only refracted to the left or to the right. But what I want is a refraction that goes to the left and to the right, as well to the top as to the bottom. So we need a little trick here. And the trick is to simply put in a create bump map. Because the create bump map actually gives me that red green displacement here. So let's see what happens here. Again, I have a displacement, but it's still going only to one side rather than to both sides. Let's do a quick check here and make sure that our tools are actually working in float. Why is that? Because now we're going to do some interesting things to our bump map. We add a brightness contrast. And on the brightness contrast, we bring the brightness down by minus 0.5. Why would I do that? Well, let's have a look at the waveform. So this is my create bump map. It's creating a bump map and it undulates somewhere around the 50% range here. The brightness contrast brings it down considerably and it brings it down to such an amount that now my displacement actually takes place in both directions. To the left and to the right and to the top and to the bottom. So the main mask stays in place, only the edges get jaggy in both directions, which is what I want. This only works in float, so if you do this trick, always make sure that your tools are actually in 16 or 32-bit float. And then of course you can do all sorts of things like, you know, adding seeth rate to your fast noise and play the thing back and get all sorts of wobbly edges with this trick. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and uh, there'll be more to come, so stay tuned.